Welcome. Definitely more. To the back rooms. One of the most well-crafted internet horror series currently gracing social media platforms, outlining humanity's encounters with a strange dimension that reminds me of an infinite Lovecraftian office building. All of this somehow coming out of a human 16-year-old by the name of Kane Pixels. The only thing I was doing on the internet when I was 16 was being perverted and lying about my age. Since I covered the most infamous entry, the series has been updated several times and much more info has come to light about these alien liminal space dimensions. So let's get into it. Real quick before we go, if you haven't seen my first video on the Backrooms found footage video, you might want to check that out because it explains the implications of the initial video. But that entry is actually the last chronologically, so if you watch it after this one, it'll make just as much sense. The Backrooms third test begins with some diagrams for what looks like a complex machine and distorted audio that makes my ears bleed and weep pus oh so sweetly. Since the audio is somewhat hard to understand for human ears, I will relay the message for you. On July 2nd, 1988, the Async Research Facility tested its low proximity magnetic distortion system for the third time. Details regarding the results of the experimentation have not yet been released. During a press conference held in April of 1988, Ivan Beck, vice director of the Async Foundation, described the intentions of these tests, stating that the program, if granted sufficient backing from the United States governments, will offer a solution to all current and future storage and residential needs and save billions of dollars on property construction and management. Basically, a good old fashioned case of humanity toying with forces that it can never understand for special green papers. After this, the steampunk elevator doors from the blueprints earlier are activated, creating intense energy flares before shutting down. Looks like the third time wasn't quite the charm. The next video in this series, The Backroom's First Contact, opens up telling us that this is now test number six and that several modifications have been made to the technology since. The doorway generates even more energy than before, warping and breaking the infrastructure around it. We then get the scared shitless reactions of two researchers researchers as the gate displays some notably odd behavior. The camera then cuts out, before returning, showing that the building that previously contained this portal is completely destroyed. The only thing standing was the open portal to the back rooms. Looks like the sixth time was the charm, because they finally found a way to open a gateway to the back rooms. Humans. Not that smart, but hella resilient. Next in the catalog, the back rooms missing persons video starts showing a series of missing persons flyers before we are shown that missing persons cases have increased exponentially around the same time that contact was established with the back rooms. I tried calling some of these numbers and didn't get a response. I like to imagine that several people had to change their phone numbers because of Kane's very compelling content. Hey, is uh, this the back rooms ARG? Look, I don't know who you guys are, I don't know what you want, but if I hear one more of you little shit say I want to no clip into your back room steps, sis, I'm calling the fucking police. Oh. Uh. Oh. We see a flash of the Async logo, you know, the same company that opened up the goddamn portal to the evil infinite dentist office waiting room dimension? We are then taken with a team through the back rooms. They're following a red tape line like a breadcrumb trail, which leads back to the entrance. After crossing paths with possibly the same square hole that our protagonist jumped through in the first found footage video, they discover something strange. A corpse covered entirely in some strange organic looking black goo, who one of the CDC looking guys wonders out loud if it's a fungus. After this, we get some flashes of some strange black and white photos before briefly displaying the message, if anyone, blame him. I'm not sure what this means. Perhaps this person that the team was sent to find was responsible for opening the portal. To find out what happened to this man, I was thinking about combing through the Backroom's wiki or the Backroom's fandoms, which are both different sites with different canons, by the way. So I guess the Backroom's is just a chaotic goddamn free-for-all, and that's just how I like it. Yeah, I'm making shit up, but so is everybody else. This could be an indication of a stalker attack. The black sludge seeping from the eyes and mouth suggests pre-digestion, although stalkers usually place their victims in a closet, so this would be an irregularity to say the least. Was it you? No. 
Okay. Personally, I am of the belief that the Kane Pixels canon of the backrooms is separate from both that of the fandom and the wiki, even if it can share aspects with both of them sometimes. It's likely that the answer will be revealed as the series goes on. It's also possible that this is the same camera person from the first video, and after brutally murdering them, the monster explosively diarrheaed all over his body, as well as the surrounding walls, or something like that. This is unlikely though, as it's thought that the Kane Pixels backrooms playlist is in chronological order, and the found footage video is the fifth and so far latest occurring entries in the series. There's also a question of what the hell this async company is doing. I'm not sure exactly what this company is that we're dealing with, but there are a few possibilities. It's possible that the company that opened the portal to the backrooms is experimenting with this dimension's capability for sustaining human life. Doesn't look like it's going too well. Another possibility is that one or more of these entities could have found this portal and escaped the backrooms, dragging a few helpless victims back into the endless corridors for later consumption. Humans just love messing with forces that they can never truly understand. Understand. This team was likely deployed to recover and potentially rescue the victim. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. The next video in the series is unlisted, but can be found on the playlist, and its name is March 11th underscore 90 underscore archive dot tar. This starts with staticky footage, followed by the message that the data is not accessible. Whatever device this is begins reformatting, and then it loads a file called archive dot tar. What follows is a series of images of the back rooms and people whose identities are blacked out, before showing someone who is working in an office in the back rooms. This video ends with an image of what looks like that doorway to the back room. I believe this may be an archive for Async's monetization of the backrooms. This is giving me some serious mystery flesh pit pre-disaster vibes. Sure, that's a fine office now, but we already know how you're gonna end up when steroid siren head Salmonella over here catches wind of your boardroom meetings. It's at this point in the timeline that we find ourselves at the backroom found footage video that took the internet by storm to bring all of our attention to this great series. If you'd like to see me break down and explain the events of the video as well as theorize on that part of the story, take a look at my backrooms found footage explain video. I'm sure this series will be updated soon. If you like this video and want to see more Backrooms content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe with all notifications enabled so I know people want more Backrooms content. Before we go, I want to thank Grape Toast for creating these eye bleach stills to add to the stills project. Side note, she gave me transparent versions and I've been having way too much fun with them so you will see a lot of that in the future. I'd also like to thank Maya Bunny 23 for creating these stills to add to the collection. Another big thanks to Flower Patch Tunes for these stills and to The Dangers Out 9 for this still. These awesome artists are now certified cult classics and will be in the description of each video. Okay, bye. Somewhere out there, there's a tree whose single purpose on earth is to replace the oxygen you waste. Go find it and apologize. You're like the end pieces of a loaf of bread. Everybody touches you, but nobody wants you. I hope you lose weight so there'll be less of you. I can only explain it to you. I can't understand it for you.